Hello there. Hello there. Welcome to the Airgun Gear Show. Now, you can all read the title of the video, so you know what we're going to do. But do you realise the extent that we're going to do it? And do you realise that right there is a dirty great bunch of cows that are going to make a lot of noise all the way through the video? They're so desperate for you to know that they're there that we're going to show you them. These are the cows. Hello. Yes, you're lovely. Now, the thing is, is that all the way through the film, they will go moo. But when you actually point the camera at them and say, say hello, like that look, they don't make a noise. Right then, back to the film. Now, as you've guessed by the title, we're going to do a pellet test, but we're going to do quite a big pellet test. And I'm not going to lie to you, we've lost eight days doing this so far, filming down on location. Eight whole days. We have done things with rifles in vices. We have done things with laser pointers. We have done things inside barns, outside barns. Cow. We have done everything we possibly can, but we think we've now got it down to a fine art. Firstly, I needed to pick a rifle to do the test with, and I've picked this. It's a .177 Air Arms S400 MPR. Why have I chosen it? Well, basically, it's got an air regulator in it. So it has a small power curve, but it has got an air regulator. It's also from a breed of rifles that a huge amount of people own, the S400, S410, etc, etc. So, it's a very well-known rifle. It's also consistently accurate. And what would you need other than consistent accuracy for a pellet test? Then, of course, I actually need the pellets. Now, they don't need to be something that I've chosen or we have chosen. I wanted to take it from a sales point of view and from people that deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I rang Blackpool Air Rifles. I spoke to Lloyd and he has very kindly sent us a whole bag of pellets, actually 10 tins to be precise. And he's told me that they are either the ones that people ask for the most or they are the best selling pellets. He doesn't tell me which, okay? He said that we'll find that out as we go through. So we've got our pellets and we have our range, which is indoors on level concrete ground. It's 25 meters marked out with the tape. And I'm going to be shooting from the seated position using a rest. And there's no movement in this at all. We take the shroud off the front of the Air Arms MPR. Then we place an external laser barrel pointer. And that is going to point down range at our target at the other end. We then recite the scope so that the crosshairs are pointing exactly on the red dot at the other end of the range. I now know exactly where my barrel is pointing. It's pointing at the crosshairs. We have then printed 10 generic targets off the computer, so the dot is in the same place at all times, and those are what I'm going to put the crosshairs on. The dot is about the size of a five pence piece. It's five shots from every tin of pellets, and we want to make sure that we're consistent all the way through. The S400 has got a regulator in it. On the bottom of the S400 is a pressure gauge. We are going to recharge that rifle every time between the five shots back to 150. So we're going to get consistency all the way through. I am not showing you me recharging the rifle between every set of five shots. Let's be honest, you don't want to watch that for the next 30 minutes. You want to see what these pellets are going to do. We're also going to chronograph every single shot that goes through and will give you the five shot average at the end of the test. So let's get started. 
I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. I've told you about the laser, I've told you about the scope sighting, the rifle, the pellets. There is one more thing. In the last eight days while we've been trying to do this, we've been so wound up with trying to get it right, I forgot my wedding anniversary. So I'm in a bit of trouble. H&N field target. H&N field target trophy. They state allies. Air arms fields. Webley Acupal. Falcon Plus. Bisley Superfields. JSB Exact Diablos. JSB Exact Express Diablos. There we are then. I've walked 250 metres and burned a few calories off and we've got the results on the table just there. But before I show you those, I'm going to wave these at you. These are what we've been doing over the last eight days. Different coloured cards, different forms of testing. So, I'm going to mark these as my definitive results from our pellet test. Just need to remind you, all shot at 25 metres, all on 150 bar, starting from an Air Arms S400 MPR FT. I would like time to have a look at the results further and do more measurements and do a few more statistics on it, etc, etc. Something for you guys to be able to have a bit more of a firm look at. So, over the next few days, we're going to take those results away and we're going to put our findings up on our website, which is www.airgungear.co.uk. Go on there, have a look. There'll be a big link to the pellet test. There'll be some pictures, some charts and some bits and pieces for you to have a look at. Something for you to think about and consider. Also on the website is the link to Blackpool Air Rifles. If you've never looked at them before, have a look, because it's really, really good. And thank you very much, guys up there, for sending us all this kit for us to try. Also, have a look at the Air Arms website, because you can see where that fantastic air rifle comes from. There we are. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.